What's going on everybody? My name is Hunter and welcome to Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, this game came out in 2007. Um, which means this game came out when I was about four years old. Um, the reason I'm playing this game though is because this is possibly my favorite game of all time. This is definitely my favorite Nintendo game of all time. And the only game that I can think of that really rivals this game is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. These are basically the two most influential single games of my life. Uh, this one before Call of Duty, of course, because I, you know, I was a little kid playing this game, but... Um, and if you've never... Um, if you've never seen this game before, it's a 3D platformer um, in space, obviously. And we're gonna pick Yoshi. So I've beaten this game at least twice, probably three times now. But uh, we're gonna play through it anyway. And uh, yeah, we're gonna beat the game. <clears throat> Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the, king the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Peach about to give us that hot to spit on that thing. So here we are at the Star Festival. This is the intro sequence to the game. And um just look at how beautiful this is. I can't rotate the camera here, but let me just go back so it points up. Look at that. The sky is beautiful. This game is just gorgeous. The, the soundtrack in this game is probably the greatest video game soundtrack ever. Many of your favorite YouTubers probably use, well, their editors probably use some music from this game. And of course, Bowser comes and ruins everything. And I'm just gonna let this play out. I don't have any commentary, I just want you guys to see this, so I'm gonna shut up. Get ready for my Bowser impression. I'm not gonna do it actually. Alright, so I can't spin yet. Most of you probably have no idea what that even means. But... Time to go save Peach. I'm not even gonna take the path. I'm just gonna go.
they really just dug the Peach's castle up out of the ground and flew it away. And there we go. We get launched into space. By Kamek. And Bowser takes Peach and the, the castle with her. Wake up on a little planet in the middle of space. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Come here, little motherfucker. No, I'm right. Oh, I'm not supposed to catch it yet. Here we go. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us. We'll tell you about where you are. Alright, so I believe one of them is in here. Can it come out the other side? No. Is there another one of those? Ugh. I forgot how disorienting this game is. Is it a different one? Or the same? That's a different one, isn't it? I don't know. Where'd they go? It's been a while since I played the beginning of this game, so I don't remember exactly where they spawn at. Where the hell did they go? Oh, one's in here, I think. Yeah. You caught me. Alright, I'm down. Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. So it is in here. Oh. oh, I think it's... Oh, shit. I fell in. Come here, little buddy. Thank you. Oh, if only I'd hidden in the pipe. So I guess we gotta go look in the pipe. Where is the pipe? I don't remember. But it's probably over here by the house. Yeah, here it is. Come on out, little buddy. Gotcha. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. We're about to meet Mama. I think. I don't really remember, but... Yeah, I should remember. I've played this so many times. I, oh, yeah. There she is. My Mario Kart fans, this is where we are first introduced to Rosalina. I've been watching you from there. From here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. And we now have the ability to spin. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. Bye, Rosalina. For now. 
until we meet again in a few minutes or so. Alright, now we break this. Oop. Shake or press Y to spin and the things look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. So yes. All these breakable, all these little glass, ice looking things are breakable for those of you who've never seen this game before. This is a launch star. Shake or press Y when you're near one to shoot through space like a comet. Now go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. There sure are. And here we go. I forgot about this little, little boss fight. So we need these little pieces of the, the star so that I can launch over to the next section. And if we smack these, we get coins and we kill them. There's one-ups in this game, as usual. There's also... I'll, I'll save it. Don't get to that point. I'm gonna jump the gun here. So there's a the launch star. It's a commonly reoccurring thing, is the little star fragment things. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. I can shake or press... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once they're stunned, run into them. Yep. So you don't have it. Just run into them, and they explode. And there's the key. Oh, and I had... Okay. Another thing to teach you. I have three hits that I can take. If I get a coin, I can take another hit. Thanks. Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there, too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform. <laughs> Sub little dude. Spin enemies. They'll run then run into them when they're stunned to boot them. Yep. Bop. Bop. Okay. I forgot about that. One thing about this game is it's very disorienting because it's a gravity based game. So you can be upside down, but the camera doesn't rotate with you. So you're just constantly upside down. And the camera sometimes doesn't do what you need it to do, but that's my biggest gripe with this game, which isn't so terrible. It sounds annoying, but you get used to it eventually. Alright, here we go. I don't think this is actually a boss fight, is this? I don't remember. That's a grand star. We have to save it. Sure do. So, oh, they're using the grand star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Oh, I'm going to. And for these, it introduces us to switches. Which is... The basis of an entire galaxy. Turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine. Well... I mean, I kinda already... Oops. Kinda already... Figured that one out, but thanks anyway. Okay. There's one over here. Let's go to this side. I think there's one more, at least. There might be two more. Okay. Got that. Is that it? I think that might be it. I don't think there's actually a boss fight here. I think it's just a free grand star. Yeah, it is. Alright. That's the introduction to the game. Get used to this music. Ah. The greatest hub in all of gaming. Changed my mind.
I'm not going to jump the gun. I would tell you what this is called, but... It's... I think Rosalina tells us here in a minute what it's called. So I'm just going to let her explain it because it's better that way. <laughs> Mario just fluorized stare directly into the camera. Um, also, star bits are those little things that come out of enemies when they die. They're also just kind of hanging around. They are important for 100% in this game, which I'm going to do. So here we go. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the grand star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel with starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars, and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And, there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Okay, let's save here. This is where it all begins. So right now... This is a Comet Observatory. Yes, it is. Right now... If we go all the way back here, this shows us what we can see. So there's the garage over there and the terrace. And that's all we have currently. But there's so much to explore here eventually. I don't even think we unlocked this area yet. No, we haven't. The observatory is running low on juice, so it's all dark past here. Thanks, my man. And then over here. So that's the terrace. Which is basically the 1-1 one -one of um, of this game. This is a garage. Hello! What does it say? Garage, your one-stop shop for the intergalactic starship repairs. We'll learn what the garage is later. This is one of many domes on this observatory. We call it the Terrace. If you need to rest, press plus. Oh. Okay. Let's get in here. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye to. Uh, this dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a star, a pool star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your your cursor at the pool star and press A. If you lose sight of the cursor, you can reset it with R. Yeah. If you're playing in handle mode, I'm not. All right. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you'll be able to travel. So I think I can go here, and that's it. And this is 1-1. Uh, 
Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. And this music is just so classic. This... I've heard this level select music so many times. But it's so good. It gets you hype almost. Let's do this. And then before each uh, level, it kind of shows you what your angle is and kind of where you start. So I don't actually know what these are called. I have never known what these little, ow, little guys are called. I can't believe I just did that. So, um, I know the game tells you to spin into things, but if you just jump on things, they give you coins. So if you need health, that's a good way to get it. Pick up star bits scattered around the galaxies, touch them with your cursor. Yeah, I, I'm not in handhelds, so that doesn't matter. Collect 50 to get a 1-up, and it really wouldn't hurt to store some up. Now point at the screen and collect as many star bits as you can. So they come out of here sometimes. I guess that's just coins, but. Man, lives don't really matter anyway, to be honest with you. But I would like to get. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Is this the way I need to go? I don't remember. No. So this is a different way for a different level. I think I need to go to the bottom of this. Wait. No. That's not right. Oh. I need to get to the top of this thing. Silly me. Here we go. I'm actually gonna go into this first. I'm gonna explore everything. I would normally skip this because I've seen it before, but... Since I'm making a video about this, I'm gonna show you. I'm not going to get much done. I just wanted you guys to hear that. That's kind of cool. I always like that. Does the uh, din -in 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 from 1 2 in the original Mario game? The underground cave, whatever you want to call them. Anyways, what I was saying is, uh, I'm not gonna get much done, I'm probably just gonna beat this level and probably end it for this video. Just because the intro sequence takes so freaking long. I don't want this- oops. Sorry, little guy. My friends are ahead, hurry! But I don't want this video to run on too long, so I'm just going to finish this level and probably end the video so this took me a long time to realize but after i you know became a freaking oh my god i'm an idiot i'm an idiot i'm an idiot i'm gonna kill myself on this holy shit okay i'm, I'm gonna stop <laughs> but uh if you hit the red things they give you star bits and i'm just fucking killing myself Accidentally. This little brown stuff is sticky. So I'm walking really slow through it. Alright. Collect the little pieces of the star. I don't know if this launches. Uh, not quite, I don't think. So we'll go over. Okay. These little, those little guys will jump onto your face and like suck your face. It's really disgusting. Piranha plants a lot of times grow these little vines. When you shake, you ride on the vines. It's pretty cool. Here, I'll show you. But they like get on your head and like suck your head. It's really gross and weird. 
this where I need to go? I don't even know. Hey, chill, buddy. I don't think this is where I need to go. It's not. What is this? What are this? What am I getting from this? Maybe this is... Uh, maybe this is the right way. I might be... Oh my god. Almost just pushed me off the edge. Dude. The momentum in this game is kind of odd. Okay. Can you come back around, please? I'm killing myself before I even get there. This is so bad of me. Sweet. Alright. Let's skedaddle out of here. Assuming that's where I was supposed to go. It looks like it. Can I just... Believe this guy. Come here, bitch. I can't hit him. There we go. I believe that's called a nabbit. Unless that's a different... I think that might be a different thing, but... I don't know. Okay, I need to stop on your heads. Woo! I've played this so many times, I shouldn't be bad at this, but I haven't played a platformer in ages, so. Also, if I uh, do this and jump, it does like a little jump thing. I can ground pound. I can long jump. I can, you know, spin in the air when I'm midair. Alright, this is the boss fight. So there's a little baby dinosaur piranha plant thing. This is possibly one of the easiest boss fights in any game ever. But it's supposed to be easy. It's just... This is 1-1. One, one. Fuck. Come on. Okay. I believe one more hit kills him. This is very underwhelming for a boss fight, but... They get decent. Some of them are a little tough in this game. So we get our first power star. Which is just a star, just like any other 3D Mario game. Uh, I guess... Not... It's Mario Sunshine, I think it's something else. I don't remember. And in Odyssey, it's moons, obviously. Alright. So we beat the first level, first real level. Collected some star bits. They're gonna be useful. Let me save my game. See if there's anything interesting that happens here. Those star bits are star bits. <laughs> Tulumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Uh, aim your cursor at the screen, point your cursor at them to pick them up. Aim my Joy Con, I should say, at the screen. I'm not playing in handheld mode. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming with your cursor and pressing ZR. Which one's ZR? I don't know. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. I have some star bits. This one? There it is. Got you, bro. Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. <laughs> You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Starbirds will be a big help on your adventure. They will be. Man, it is raining outside. Okay. Um, well that's gonna do it for this one. I'm gonna chill in here because I'm gonna record another video right after this, but... Uh, thank you so much for watching, if you're still here. Um... This has been... My favorite game... Of all time, possibly. Top two. This video is probably just called my favorite game of all time. Um, go check out some other videos I've made. Uh, I have Mario Kart content up. I've have um, other games, just random games that I've played. And there's gonna be more to come 
soon. So, uh, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.